Yeah, good point. Teachers in Alameda County's New Haven School District are preparing for a third week on the picket lines. There was at least some progress today toward getting them back in the classroom before the end of the year. KPX 5's Katie Nielsen live in Hayward with a bit of a concession from the teachers, Katie. Yeah, Brian, both sides back at the negotiating tables right now inside the Alameda County Office of Education. Just a few hours ago, the teachers union made a new proposal, a 6% raise over the next two years instead of the 10% they were originally asking for. The strike started about two weeks ago on Monday, May 20th, when the teachers union and the school district couldn't come to terms on a new contract. One of the biggest concerns now is finals. If the strike enters a third week, it could impact the high school students who are set to take their final exams next week. Representatives from the New Haven Teachers Union say if they can't reach a deal tonight, they won't be back in the classrooms tomorrow. The strike plan is still in place, so we'll be back uh, on the strike lines tomorrow um, unless something uh, very much needed happens tonight. There are a total of 12 schools in the district, including two high schools. Those school, schools serve 11,000 students in Union City and South Hayward. Now, the school district just released a statement saying while they are not accepting the current proposal as it is, the district's bargaining team continues to be committed to participating in discussions as long as they remain productive and move the parties to a settlement today and moving forward. Of course, stay with KPIX 5 throughout the evening as we have the latest on these negotiations. Live in Hayward, Katie Nielsen, KPIX 5.